Uh, welcome back to the channel. It is round two of the D1NZ Drift Championship for us. We have both drivers together for a change, which is quite cool. We've got a little oh. pit oh, set up. Oh. got my two favourite boys. <laughs> the boys? The boys! <laughs> and uh, yeah, it should be quite an interesting day. We've got pro sport in the morning, practice, and then pro gets the afternoon session, and then we move into racing tomorrow. It's going to be quite a fun weekend, I hope. Anyway, <laughs> we're all pretty tired this morning. <laughs> yeah. uh, early start so we can finish early. Yeah. The cyclone stuff. Yeah. I'm really glad we got all the lights done for the night round. <laughs> yeah. yeah was, thanks, was thanks guys for installing those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you know? what you guys haven't seen is because uh, we haven't had a chance to do any filming, but like we rushed to get all the wiring and the lights and shit in these cars and stuff like that, and then it just turned out to be a whole fucking waste of time. So. <laughs> We forgot that it was summer and there's daylight savings. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you look real hard, you might see some lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, we got the issue sorted out with the 86 after the first round. Yeah. He got rid of the driver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <right. laughs> Bring in our other paid driver. <laughs> um, no, we got we got rid of the issue. We had that sorted out. We had a few things we needed to change on the car. That was good. Um, Alex's car, except for railing Ben Jenkins, is fine. Yeah, it's been yeah. sweet. Yeah. And um, yeah, we just look forward to getting out there and running some skids. Yeah, hell yeah. Should be good. Backing up into me. Hello. Hello. Donk a donk donk. <laughs> no, that's good. 
yeah that no, was good it felt like the handbrake works real good and the steering's way lighter than before so i'm like way more but i mean we can only go down from there so like if yeah. it's giving you any push we can drop it down or whatever so like yeah. they've only gone up if, to... if anything we probably need to go up more really to give it more slip because they've only gone up two psi mm. so we could probably give it more slip and that way i can just keep all the traction on the rear and just push the front of the rear because that's all i need to do yeah, we can make those adjustments yeah. doing front wheel drive stuff yeah or just actual corolla stuff you don't need much grip on the front on the corolla because <laughs> just come back from his um first test run we saw in the logs that because of the small track it is and not much speed not much airflow getting through the front so we did get higher water temps than normal so we're just running through everything like water and seeing what we can do to help bring the temps down when he goes up for his next run so checking oil now because i'm uh, all full of it open so i'm just going to check that that flow sweep through there and that oil level has changed but it hasn't so a little bit of top up and carry on keep monitoring the data uh, practice, first practice. Car's going alright. Can't really complain. We got the front left, yeah, front left fixed up. We've done all the tow and everything. So everything's warmed up. We're just waiting for a bloody driver. He's just in bed somewhere. Uh, and yeah, we just go line up and go for a run. But see how today goes. Test his car. Had a look at the logs on that one. It does look like it's pretty hot today, so the temperatures is just going to be the big thing we're going to have to watch on this because temperatures has always been an issue with this car. So we'll just log that, make sure everything looks good.
two turns will bring it to five degrees. So we, we got how much stroke? 60 mil stroke. Okay. So that's pretty much six degrees of movement in the dip, isn't it really? And we're at four now. So maybe, hey, that might do it. It will, and obviously when you rate the dip back, it will change obviously. Yes, but as long as I'm on okay. like the thing is, is what I'm trying to figure out if we can put in more grip to stay in third and not limit it so fast. We'll we'll, sh we'll start with the quick change, which is the tire pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, and then you can come back in after that next test and go yay or nay. If it's nay, then but if we do that, then we're into qualifying. So we're either the way that I think we should do is either we change it now with the tire pressures and then test it, and if it, we can't do it, then we bring the dip angle back to the body. How long we got? Half an hour? We've got, and well, we've got fucking heaps of cars going out still, so and then uh, pro after that. Yeah. You want me to do it now? Yeah, might as well. Uh, we're just making a, a, a pinion angle change on the red dip. Um, this car's still having a live axle. Um, the more, the pitch of the everything dips now, if we change it up or down, it will affect the actual amount of forward height of the rear end into the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the angle up a little bit. We're going to make it more aggressive to give us a bit more forward bite on that rear, uh, on that rear axle. Something like independent like independent rear suspension guys won't understand because effectively this is like the Ford Model A suspension but um yeah it's actually quite good for Ford traction it's actually better than an independent rear in my opinion for Ford bike so we're just going to make a quick change and um hopefully we can drift the car up a little bit more here's where we make it too grippy now <laughs> Spinning. When we had it on the dyno last this week on Wednesday, um, we actually blew the turbo gasket out and we found that the studs were backing out on the T3 flange. So let's have a quick look in there to make sure they're not doing it again. Um, JP gooed them in with flange sealant, so I don't think they're coming out at all ever again. So looks good. But just doing the checks. We don't want to be doing that here. It's not a fun job. Uh, so yeah, first lap down. Good. Alex driving really really well we didn't even get a sight lap he just went out sent it was pretty much almost on all the clipping points a couple of things to work on but we're good still struggling like Kess's car as I thought temperatures was going to be a thing and it was so we got our water squirters hooked up so hopefully that fixes it and we'll be going out shortly for um, yeah another run Alex in his battle practice uh, decided that he wanted to play uh, off cars again. And, uh, made a wheel contact on the rear wheel and because he likes to run these hot boy wheel nuts, it, uh, with the contact with the other car it actually hooked on the wheel nut and bent the studs. So now we're just going to figure out hopefully the wheel studs are the same size as our work van and we might end up robbing some bits off there. But, See how it goes. Or it's a trip to Repco. <laughs>
Hey, oh my god, that's fucking hot as shit. Stop fucking on there. Are any of those long ones alright? Huh? Surely two of those long ones are alright. Two of the long ones are the wheel nuts. Oh, surely. In my mind, it wasn't going to work. We had to mix them up with the heat.
just had our qualifying. Uh, first pass we had 64 points. I thought I did a pretty tame run, but they obviously kind of like that. Oh! <laughs> Good radar. <laughs> Straight for the junk. <laughs> yeah, the second run I like tipped it in way more, kind of what, what the judges told me that they wanted. Came around pretty deep, came around. The only thing I did wrong was realistically from third, I went back into second instead of fourth. So I was supposed to upshift fourth and go wide. Fortunately hit second instead, went back up to third, got around it and hit a couple cones and they, they gave me a 38, which is a bit of a shame, but um, we're still we're still in the uh, top 24 for tomorrow. So uh, we'll be in for the battles and we'll go from there. But um, I reckon this car will be mean if it is pretty quick now, um, especially after we put got a little bit of grip into it with uh, changing the pinion angle and that type of thing. So yeah, nah, looking forward to tomorrow. Am I supposed to say something? We fixed the car. Oh, you know how many kids are off like home tonight and then they're on crazy looking at his 2000?